Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Conan Exiles. As you can see, I decided to change up my uh, my fighting style a little bit. The reason being, this baby. So, I discovered that corrupted doesn't necessarily mean I will be corrupted for using said sword. Instead, uh, what it means is, at least for this weapon uh, anyway, um, I apply corruption damage. It is pointless in single player mode. <laughs> Because it will only ever affect other players. This is because corruption takes away chunks of your stamina and HP, and that's that can very quickly become OP as fuck. Um, NPCs such as thralls, pets, enemies will not be affected by corruption. So I wanted this weapon because it's DPS, it's light, stronger than my sword, and has armor penetration. Plus it cripples too. So we have a sword and shield style going on for the time being until I can find a, uh, a legendary great sword. So yeah. And now then, stuff I've done off screen because I've done a few things. First and foremost, Daedra is now level twenty, as we know. Um, I did respec her, so now she's just obscene with her health. I mean, look at that. Fuck. Add on to this, um, she gets a plus 40, uh, plus 45 to her vitality. So she is literally a tank. I love this, but I want to respect her again. Uh, mostly because I don't want just pure health rolls. I want some other stuff to her. Well, she also has a, a defense boost. Great, that's actually better. This is a, this is pretty much a good tank um, perk. So I'm actually keeping her like this now that I think about it. Um, one of the reasons why I'm not respecting her again, though, right now, is because it requires gold dust, and I want to keep my gold for a little bit later on. Now then, that being said, we need to actually use said gold. I got 20 gold, which means we can buy two pets. Now, I want a very specific pet before we go on. So, yeah. Uh, this is what these, tw these, 22, these 20 coins are going to be going towards. Also, by the way, since we did finish the Witch Queen, um, this is my marker. The people of the Exiled Lands know we exist. They know we're here. Purges can now start. Now, I've never done a purge. I have no clue what it entails. So, yeah. Should be interesting. Um, that being said, I also did get the Deep Drink Water Skin. So, yay. Um, that way. I also got Hanuman's Spear. I went back and did the, uh, dungeon again. And got a few more god weapons. I got, uh, Yabak Sog's Prowl and Yogg's Touch. And I also got, uh, well, this sword. Peleus. As well, you know, I'm using the Ymir's, uh, Targe for later. Now, as you can see, new door. I've decided to expand outwards and actually start using this backyard a bit. My uh, uh, pen's back here now too. This is my elevator. Down to down here if I ne ever need to use it. So this way I can get down without having to actually, you know, climb slide and I can, I can use it to get back up here as well. So it's pretty useful. Um, I did get one more thing of interest while I was uh, getting Hanuman's, uh, getting, trying to get the deep, uh, the deep skin, or the deep, the, the, the soak, the thing, the pouch. Got me a monkey. Hey Kong. Oh, he looks badass. <laughs> I'm about to train him later on. <clears throat> Although I don't think he has perks, does he? He does get perks. Say so he's guarding this side door. Alright, jeez. Um, I did level up my magic one more time. So let's go through that real quick. Uh, what spells did I get? Call of Nergal! Alright, so... The albino bat that we killed earlier. This will summon one for us that we can use to get up. It's basically the opposite of a slow fall. There is a stamina drain to it, and when the stamina rains, uh, drops out, you, the spell ends. 
or you can just drop. But this is useful. Um, I got Creeping Darkness, channel a few darkness around you, your being. I don't know what that does. Uh, what else did I get? I guess that's it. Oh, I guess that's a, uh, oh, I don't know what that spell is. Okay. Basically, I just go hand to the sky, create a, just a cloud of darkness all around me. Enemies can't see me, so it's pretty useful to, uh, just get around. Also, I just saw that. I can summon me a demon, the Abyssal Call. What it takes to, what it takes to uh, summon one of those fuckers? Not bad. I can actually, I can actually do that. We're not gonna, but I can. That's cool. Um, I currently am in need of. Oop. What do I need? Oh yeah, dragon horns. So I'm gonna go hunt some dragons later on. Whew. So close. I think I only have uh, four more spell slots. Uh, four more spells to learn. Ooh. Alright, let's head to bed. Other than that, I've just been dicking around. I've moved some things into here. Make use of the house, you know. Right, admin panel. Dawn. Alright. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? Just to make sure. Okay. I think I should probably resupply. Oh, open up. Yeah, this is my uh, healing cabinet and this is my magic cabinet. I was able to unlock this as well. I think it just lets me summon uh, the undead. Not actually, it allows me to summon the undead, but not actually summons them. All right, Chestnut, we're going for a ride. Oh boy. Do 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 do. If there's time, we may actually do the Yabaxal uh, mission. Although that's actually a pretty high level thing. Yeah, it's recommended to be level 50, which I'm already 50, but you know. Alright, so we are heading... All the way to this area. Let's go! Actually, before we go, I'm going to take a look at yeah. Chestnut, see how you're doing. Level 18, two more levels. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, let's go! Sorry, I'm, uh... I was trying to mute the, mute the mic so I could cough. Ugh. <sighs> I'm doing so much shit. Goddamn. So, what we're going to go, go, go do... While we're riding this. <coughs> Those rock monsters that attack us, they're called rock noses. We are going to go buy a rock egg. Uh, rock nose egg. They can hatch into, you know, pebble noses, which grow into rock noses. However, comma, if you feed them uh, specific foods they can turn into a variant, like a greater variant. Like, you know, my type, my, my Biako. What we're aiming for is a, a gold vein rock nose. Um, this is a unique creature, because what it does is if we keep it inside of the pen, feeding it rocks, it will do one of three things. It will shit out another rock when it eats, it will shit out iron ore, or it will shit out uh, a gold stone, which we can use to smelt into gold ore. If I can get one, preferably two, 
we can literally just shit gold and print money. I would prefer two, though I'm fine with just one. This way I can go out and buy uh, another rock nose to get uh, a silver vein, which will allow me to get the same effect, but with silver instead of gold. And then all I have to do is just put um, like three stacks of rocks in there, and they'll just eat, keep keep their own food going, or give me something. They are the most cost-efficient way of grinding these things. And the easiest way of getting gold when you are in the, uh, the lands out here. Also, apparently those snakes can give us demon blood, but um, I found a more lucrative way of getting it. Gives me EXP and legendary gear, so... I'm being chased, aren't I? Alright, run past this. I did come across a uh, big fucking rhino out here, too. Fuck off, snakes. I will not hesitate to kill you. Rhinos. Alright, we're gonna stick them or stick Cheston over here, I think. I don't see anything dangerous over here. Although, I think I know what this is. That snake would kill him. Hello? Hey! Is there somebody out there? I hear someone out there. Oh, help! Hey, get us out of here! Help! Listen, listen. We're, we're on the other side of the door. We, we're kind of in a pickle. Could use your help. Think there's some levers out there? A good chance one of them will, will open the door and we'll be... Could you pull a lever, please? Pull it! Please? Just pick a lever. <laughs> I love these guys. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit, they're gone. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I was just, uh, I was up the booze. You're, hey, you're swelling up. Oh, I'm swelling up like a booze. Oh, my God. Absol? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, he's dead. It's not your fault. It is, but uh, you, you know what? Pick another lever. Yeah. So, like my, um, uh, Subnautica playthrough, these guys are from Neebs Gaming. They did, they did a playthrough of this game before Age of Sorcery. The fire! It's hilarious. Simon, it's like they were just aimed at him because I didn't even move. I, I saw that. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe pick another. Yeah. All right. Another door's open, okay. Simon. All right, this is gonna be good. Gotta be it. This is gonna be good. Oh shit! Oh mother damn! Ooh. I'm allergic to tigers. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Seems to like you, Simon. Oh. Seems to like you. <laughs> oh, can you go back away, please? Back away 
No more lepers? All right. Uh, thanks anyway. I'm good. Cat's full. Yeah. Have a good day. Uh, I love these guys. Thanks for trying. I, I, I actually listen to them a lot whenever I'm editing or um, just dicking around. All right. Um... Let's see if we can put uh, Chiston over here. Wait, no, there's a scorpion that spawns in there, isn't there? No. Not gonna do that. So yeah, I, I love those guys. They're, they're, they're hilarious. And, um, Thick, I believe, actually has gone, just recently uh, gone through um, surgery for cancer. And he seems to be, I think it was cancer. He went through a surgery. I know that much, but uh, he is doing better now, and I'm glad to hear that. Oh. Alright, I guess we're trying to find a better spot. I don't see anything worth worrying. Um. Yeah, it seems safe here. I, I guess I could ride up over there. Keep keep Chestnut safe up there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll ride over to um here and have her stand guard. I'll just run through, run over here. But yeah, if you have a, if you ever had a chance to check out Neves Gaming, they are hilarious, loads of fun, and just seem like in general nice guys, except to each other. You know, as friends do. Alright. Hop off. Stand guard. Uh, of course. There we go. I just don't be fine there. Yeah, I don't see anything uh, aggroing here. Alright, we're good. Let's go! See, so yeah, it's a nice little Easter egg. I'm, I'm actually really... I really love it when um, game companies like uh, Fumcom, I think their name is. I, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, the people who made this game. Uh, when they see the the community and go, hey, these people really like our games. They, oh, fuck. Let's, uh, let's uh, honor them a bit by doing something for them. Do something cool. <laughs> I put them in the game or something like that. It's really cool. It's sweet. All right. Um. There's also a camel we could buy here, but I don't want the camel. Around the den. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh boy. I saw you come up behind me. Oh, Taskmaster. 
That's cool. Soon my teeth will taste like throat. Come on, Mitch. You know it's funny, I spent so long trying to look for a taskmaster before fighting the one I did get. Now I'm finding them fucking everywhere. I don't need this Mew. I could sneak through here if I wanted to. Actually, hold on. Is that my... I do! Let's actually do that! I should be able to. I think I have the height for it. Summon a control... Show. What? Ah. Uh, I don't know if that was actually a option I had there. That's kind of cool, though. Right, illusion. Strict five senses. Aw, oh, bullshit. Alright. Um. Trying to remember where it's at. Oh, sorcerer. A priest of Yabak Sol. Alright, that's good to know. I come here for a priest. Oh boy. Oh jeez, you're a big boy. Your taskmaster? I think he is. Yeah, he's a taskmaster. A good one, too. That's a damn shame. I'll take the teapot, though. Thank you. That. What's that priest of Yogsal? There it is. Oh. Right, what's this? I, I'm just, I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm not gonna record any of those freaking guides. I want to, but god damn. Actually, I might still. I, I, I have an idea. Side note, by the way, um, get black blood from those things. Actually, you know what? Hey, puppy. <laughs> Doesn't seem too bad. If I need to, I can run. Oh, you're not, you're not bad. Come on. Guess we're gonna get blackboard from these guys. advantage over me with a shield because that's the reason why shield was you know made not shield a spear um spears were designed to get around get o uh, over and around spear uh, shields spears were designed to get around shields uh for that uh, for that express purpose so you'd think they'd be able to hurt me more Yeah, I need to get up that pillar. 
I can run up there and climb a wall to uh and just sit there and wait till they they go away. Come on. Where's the fun in that, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I like your helmet. Come on, buddy. This is stuff I'm more used to, you know, quick attacks. Actually, I might try the daggers later on. They cause bleed damage to DPS. That's all I'm gonna get two of the eggs. I drifted between worlds. I dreamed of lives that I never lived. Faces that I never knew. Loves that I never had. And in one if of my you got dreams, coin to spend, I found the answer. Oh, wait. And I dare not do that alone. I think I have two eggs. I'm about to check soon I get with these guys. Oh, boy. They carried me back to their camp. Somewhere north of the city. And left me sleeping on a pile of furs by one of their tents. I don't think they expected me to wake up. I've been watching them while pretending. Get the eggs. I did. Something very strange going okay. on. Their body language is wrong. I grew up on the streets of Asgalun, and I could read the body of a haggling merchant before I could walk. These people. They were that was easy enough. Mangy a bit annoying, but easy enough. Begging for scraps. Nah, they too. stand too close. They sniff at one another. When one of them shouts, the others cower. I need to get out of here. They yeah. are gathering in the old arena among the ruins, howling like hyenas. They are performing some ritual. A naked man is cloaked in a blood soaked hyena skin. I dare not waste this chance. I must slip away. I will go west and find Jakkad's people. I'm going to need their help. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so we're doing good. We're doing good. Side note, um, sorry about touching the mic. Um, the scourge stone pieces we got last set. There are three different scourge stone pieces we need. We need to create the scourge stone heart. Um, the fact that we got two is interesting, mostly because of the fact that, um, I guess we can use them to create multiple. Uh, the reason being is if we take them back to the statue of Hanuman, we can turn them in for, uh, the Black Yeti. Uh -huh. Alright, so we got the Rockstone Eggs. We're down, we have a 24 hour counter on it. Oh, come through, pardon me. Did not mean to run the motor. So I'm gonna need to check something. I am glad we got some extra gold coins, though. I can turn that into gold powder. Um, I mentioned earlier to create the... Now, what we're trying to do is create the, um... Uh... Gold vein rock nose. That requires gold powder. To get a 20% chance of it becoming a gold vein. Uh, if we want to get silver vein, we have to do the same thing with, with silver. So we'll worry about that when we get when we get back to base. Now, as you can tell, the eggs also have a 24-hour timer on them. That's very similar to every pet. Um, we can put them inside of the um 
uh, what's it called? Fuck. The animal pen. But it has to go through another stage before it becomes a rock nose. Of whatever variant we want it to be. Um, what we need to do is first have them hatch from the egg, and then put them into the thing. So we can either run around with them in our inventory for a day, fuck that, or we can use a compost heap. The compost heap will, de will drastically decrease its timer down to like, I think an hour. Um, which allows us to get them out of the egg. However, comma, we have to be very careful with this because if we leave them in there, they will uh, eventually, they'll just also die. I should just go on the river bend, goddamn. So I know what I know what we're going to do while uh, this thing uh, hatches. It all depends on how quickly it uh, decays. Yep. Uh, that's the bat tower. Ooh, it's almost daytime too, or nighttime too. Excuse me, coming through. Pray comes to us. No, Pray's going home. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. <clears throat> Side note, by the way, we will not actually let the rock nose out of the animal pen. Um. This is because what we're doing essentially is getting the dung, which we could also use as for fertilizer. Well, to make fertilizer, I should say, compost. Um, we don't want the rock nose out and about because then it won't produce anything. The same is true if we decide to get like um, uh, a spider or a uh, sand reaper. They'll stay inside of the pen. And if I need to, I'll make another pen. Like, if I, if I need to, like... If I run out of space because I'm too busy, I have too much uh, stuff inside of the thing, I'll just make another one. My idea, my goal, <laughs> is to have the pen filled with two rock nose, or four rock nose, one silver, uh, two silver, two gold, and... Uh, a Sand Reaper. Queen. Alright, so like, let me show ya. Hey Kong. So if we put the egg in here... Nothing happens. It does pause the timer on the egg, though. So if you don't have the materials you need to hatch one for whatever reason, just pop it in there and it'll stay safe. Then we come over here. Go to the compost heap. So, 23 hours down to an hour and 11 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. How much is that? 39. I'll put on display later, but, you know. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and store these for sorting later. Because we're gonna go ahead and do the Yamak Saw thing. Don't need this, don't need this. Not gonna carry this, we're not gonna need this. Don't need this, need that. Uh, 
that should do. Store that, store that. Okay. Uh, you're coming with me? One Jack Danger up. Gruel. Go. Yeah, look at our stats now. <laughs> it's obscene. Plus 30, plus 45, plus 20, plus 20. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we have that. Ready to go. Um. That three, three. That should do it. Grab this refill, take a few extra with us. We should be fine. Okay. Ooh, that purge starting to get up, get up there a little bit. All right, so to go there, we need to create. I have a lot of shit in here. One of these. Take it out and drink it. There's a very good chance this won't end well. <laughs> Alright. I love this place, though. Going through there will lead us out of here, by the way. Let's go. We have an hour and some odd minutes. Oh, we should be fine. need to beat four bosses. About to cough. Alright, let's go. The, sh the um, symbols on the wall will tell us which way we're going to, by the way. Reason why I want uh, Yabak Sol, besides the fact that he's kind of cool. Oh. Alright, we're good. Oh, hi! Yeah, I'm barely taking any damage. We should be fine. Uh, bear, bear in mind also, by the way, with the. Uh, um, oh jeez. The Purge? It's currently set to level 3 because I don't know what to expect. I think level 3 should be good. Um, I'll, I'll intermit, uh, I will, uh, increase it intermittently as we progress. If I think it's, uh, too weak. 
Hindsight, I probably should have done those eggs off screen. Oh boy. I get a feeling my bubble noses are gonna die. Oh, we should be that should be fine. Let's go. Yeah, okay there, buddy. This way. Probably should have brought a torch with me or something. We should be close to one of the bosses. Ooh, you're a big boy. These are, uh... Yeah, these are nasty boys. They were graders. There were wolves. Oh. That up. Good. God take you. Yep. Come on. Should be, should be, yep, here it is. Aww. That's adorable. I don't need it. I also didn't realize that the, uh, the pelts, uh, the, the pups were here. There it is. First boss. <laughs> Black Panther. Oh yeah, we're fine. It, it's just a matter of time. Give me a drink that. And then we grab this. Shade Bloom, perfect. We want these. Alright. And they don't decay, good. I was curious if that was the case. So that's one. Alright, uh huh. That's a bear. I kind of wish I brought my my skinning belt knife now. You're actually kind of tough. You're like really tough, but you're a bear, so. Man, this is so unbearable. Like it's a pelt out of you. Beautiful. Bear pelts, I'm gonna keep. You I can I can use for something. I think. Oh boy, it's a lot of pelts. The bears. What's that? 
prepared for the bears. Fun side note, um, bear, in, as is a term to describe this creature, is actually a nickname. Um, the original name is unknown, lost to history, because it was believed that by saying its name, you summoned it. So people just stopped uh, saying the name Bear. Or stop saying it and using the name Bear as its uh, substitute. That's a fun bit of history. Which, to be fair, I won't want to fuck with a bear. Bears are nasty. Especially polar bears. You know, a black bear, brown bear. Yeah, they'll maul you to death. They'll kill you. While a polar bear is so apex predator of its territory that it doesn't even view you as a threat. Like, it will walk up to you, calm, nonchalant, like, oh, hey, there's, there's, there's this thing here, and then eat you. Like, it's so bad, it's to the point that I believe it's, uh, Canada or Alaska, one of those two, both, is illegal to lock your car door at night just in case someone needs to uh, hide from a bear, a polar bear. That's how nasty polar bears are. Side note, in this game, I believe you can get a polar bear as a pet. Not 100% on that. I'm keeping track of my timer just to see, uh, make sure I don't uh, overclock, overrun my uh, uh, pebble noses. We're still good. We got like a good 40 minutes, I believe. Or 50, 40 to 50 minutes. Yo. I believe getting to uh, the first boss is the hardest one. Cause it, it was the longest one. Everything else is just straight lines. Oop. Glowing goop. A lot of glowing goop in here. I do, more, do need more glowing goop. Let's get these archers first. She knew what to do. Stamina. Really miss my stamina region. There we go. Jeez. In sync. Oh god, I love that. I love that she's able to goad their attacks. I'm in need, desperate need of glowing goop. I'm low. So I'm happy for this cave. It would be kind of cool if I can get a uh, bear cub out here too. They're relatively hard to find. I need more glowing potions. I need a hundred witch fire for the one of the final spells of the uh, tome. 
And I'm kind of running low on the uh, the good old glowing goo. Right, that should do. If I need to, I'll come back here and get them. Back up. You take the wrong Die. I think I'll have Daedra carry it for me. I'm about to look also into what I can get to, uh... Get the greater bear, possibly. I love Daedra, not because she's she's a she's a really good warrior, because she really is. She's a really good uh tame, uh thrall to get. Um I love her because every so often she gets hit and you hear her squeak like she's from an anime. It's adorable. Oh shield slows down the thing. <laughs> Just about how little I know about shield usage. Alright, Deidre, where you at, girl? Come over here. There you are. Alright, give me your low stack of gruel. You carry the cub. Okay. I'm just gonna run to the boss. It's starting to get to the point that I'm a little more uncomfortable. Ooh, it's a monkey. Oh, hey, sorry. Let's go! By the way, um, as I was saying earlier, Shade Blooms is what, kind of what, one of the main reasons why we come here, other than the religion. Uh, shade Blooms you can use as a recipe to greatly increase the chance of getting uh, greater variants. With the exception of, like, the Rock Nose, because apparently um, Gold Dust is better than the Shade Bloom version. This, but this, but this, but this. Ooh, my sword's starting to get damaged. Which is kind of interesting because this is the first time I've seen a legendary take uh, that much damage. Panther, where I fought you. Oh, those are saber tooths. If I can find a saber tooth cub, that'd be so great. Oh, lordy. I think I see one, actually. You the wrong That's a cub. Going before it runs away. Right, how are you on your? You're good with your gruel, so you'll carry this cub too. 
<laughs> that makes me happy. I'm gonna try for a greater as well. It's still a, a, not a gr perfect chance guaranteed. There's nothing that guarantees a greater. But Shade Bloom is always gonna be your best bet. Or, not always. Nine times out of ten. It's in our cup! I lost it. There it is. Come here, you. Got it. Follow. Right, so I have two, two kittens and a bear cub. That's awesome. If I have a chance to, or a choice, like if it comes down to it, I'm going to definitely go for the cubs. Over the, uh, the kittens over the, um, bear. Look at these things. Oh. You know, there's one thing about, you know, having like, you know, a white tiger or, uh, going, yeah, I have a bear tamed. But then you have a fucking saber-toothed tiger just <laughs> towards you. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm good. Enemy I think that's the way we need to go. Oh, those are apes. Great apes. Oh, boy. Motherfucking archer. I wouldn't want to fuck with an ape either. <laughs> to be fair. I think this is the way we need to go. We're gonna go until we finish this, by the way. Yep, this is where we need to be. I think this boss specifically is the best one for Shade Blue. No, wait. Shocker, you know, it's a bowl. Did you like stop? Apparently not. I can stun him by uh, blocking his attack. Which if I do, um, she can take him. Hey, if you're going to try to do this bullshit thing, I will block your entire attack. Stop doing the kicking. No. Nope. Keep it going. Ow. Stop with the fucking bucking 
Bronco bullshit. Outside the ring. Die. God, take you. Just recharge. <laughs> It's our goading attack from the authority tree. I would have had a bow and arrow for this fight specifically. Or summon undead, jeez. Imagine like an entire army of fucking undead just going, yeah, fuck this bull. Die, my Rockno's uh, pets die because of this fucking thing. I don't remember it doing this, which is the thing. I remember this fight being relatively annoying, but you know, not this. To be fair, I also did the solo. I didn't have thralls. It's only this playthrough that I've actually like, yeah, let's have some thralls. Any thralls I had tamed were guards at my house. For no reason other than the fact that I wanted, I wanted, you know, other humanoids there. Or to make my, uh, crafting tables better. He's almost dead. I have about 20 minutes before I have to be back at the base. Before my purchase becomes pointless. Give or take, uh, five, ten minutes. Attack twice, block. Jeez. Oh. Won't say he's almost dead, though. different idea what I was going to do, by the way, uh, hindsight, while we're doing this, um, I had originally planned to, uh, go get Zath, but then I decided, you know what, while we're here,
Or that type of thing. Alright. Uh, there's only one way out, so let's go. That's three of the four. Oh, I'll do to get to the last one. path leads to him. Oh jeez, hi. God, this... I wish game there was a game like this. Like, just exploring the forest like this. This looks horrifying. I love it. I think that's it. Yep, there's the boss fight. Come on. There we go. Wrapping up the bandages. There we go. I should check to see how she's doing on items. Alright, give us roll. There we go. What oh, this red stuff over here? Huh. Ah. Alright, let's do this. This might be difficult. Oh, he T-posed. <laughs> this is basically an alpha werewolf. He hits hard. Not very strong, but he hits hard and he's quick. Luckily, I have my uh, fucking tank over here. I wish there was a way to become a werewolf. That'd be cool. Next stage sorcery update. Transformation. Become a werewolf. Become a werebear. Oh boy. Come on. Oh boy. That's your box saw, by the way. And yes, that's how big how big he is. His avatar form. Oh, he's a big boy. Drink some blood too. All right, let's go. The flesh of remembrance is I can burn for uh, um, what's what's it called? Valor, not valor. Ah, oh, shit, I just remembered something. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Will this spawn me where I think it will, or will it spawn me somewhere else? Fuck. Alright, so, uh, that's gonna be it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time when we will continue back at the base. We are currently over here. I have to book it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye!